सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स शिक्षा शब्द कोश ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फर्स्ट एडिशन लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर थ्री क्वालिटी करिकुलम एंड असेसमेंट पार्ट थ्री पेज नंबर फिफ्टी एट एटी टू नेशनल अचीवमेंट सर्वे एन ए एस नेशनल अचीवमेंट सर्वे और एन ए एस is a nationally representative large scale sample survey of students learning undertaken by the ministry of education government of india nas is a survey to assess the health of education which covers students of class 3 5 8 and 10 a process of gathering information in order to develop a deep understanding of what students know understand and can do with their knowledge as a result of their educational experiences details are available at https colon slash slash nas dot education dot gov dot in 83 national curriculum framework ncf ncf serves as a guideline for content standards syllabus textbooks teaching and evaluation practices for the schools in india till now ncert has been instrumental in bringing out four national curriculum frameworks ncfs in 1975 1988 and 2005 as per the national education policy 2020 four ncfs will be developed national curriculum framework for early childhood care and education ncfe cce national curriculum framework for school education ncfse national curriculum framework for teacher education ncfte and national curriculum framework for adult education ncfae website https colon slash slash ncf dot ncert dot gov dot in 84 national curricular and pedagogical framework for early childhood care and education ncpfe cce as envisioned in nep 2020 ncpfe cce for children up to the age of 8 will be developed by ncert in two parts namely a sub framework for 0 to 3 year olds and a sub framework for 3 to 8 year olds aligned with the above guidelines the latest research on ecce and national and international best practices in particular the numerous rich local traditions of india developed over millennia in ecce involving art stories poetry games songs and more will also be suitably incorporated the framework will serve as a guide both for parents and for early childhood care and education institutions 85 national curriculum framework for school education ncfse 
the formulation of a new and comprehensive NCFSE will be undertaken by the NCERT based on the principles of this NEP 2020, frontline curriculum needs and other discussions with all stakeholders including state governments, ministries, relevant departments of the central government and other expert bodies and will be made available in all regional languages. NCFSE will clearly define the modalities for implementing the new curricula and pedagogical structure of 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. 86. Oral Reading Fluency ORF Fluency is defined as the ability to read with speed, accuracy and comprehension. In order to understand what they read, children must be able to read fluently whether they are reading aloud or silently. It means that a child can recognize and decode words accurately and automatically and understand the words as they are being read. Page number 59 87 Parak Performance Assessment Review and Analysis of Knowledge for Holistic Development Parak The National Assessment Centre is envisaged as a standard-setting body to fulfil the basic objectives of setting norms, standards and guidelines for students' assessment and evaluation for all recognised school boards of India, monitoring achievement of learning outcomes in the country and encouraging and helping school boards to shift their assessment patterns towards meeting the skill requirements of the 21st century in consonance with the stated objectives of this policy. 88. Pedagogy Pedagogy refers to the methods of teaching in theory and in practice. It refers to the study of teaching approaches and how they affect learners in enabling students to learn more effectively and can help them develop high-order thinking skills. 89. Peer Learning The practice of having students of the same or similar age learning from each other through various activities such as group work, buddy system such as in Chandigarh and in Navodai Vidyalai projects, interactions, games, puzzles, etc. 90. Peer Assessment Peer assessment provides a structured learning process for students to critic and provide feedback to each other on their work. It helps students develop lifelong skills in assessing and providing feedback to others and also equips them with skills to self-assess and improve their own work. It is a process by which learners rate their peers and is as such of great relevance to teacher development. It signifies the joint collaboration by those involved in the learning process in the appraisal of their own learning. 91. Performance Indicators PIN 
DICS Performance indicators or PINDICS are used to assess the performance and progress of teachers. It consists of performance standards, PS, specific standards and performance indicators. Performance standards are the areas in which teachers perform their tasks and responsibilities. Under performance standards, there are some specific tasks which are expected to be performed by the teachers. These are termed as specific standards. From specific standards, performance indicators have been derived. Link of website https colon slash slash p-i-n-d-i-c-s dot n-c-e-r-t dot g-o-v dot in 92. Position Papers An evidence-based paper on pedagogical aspects, learning, assessment, training, etc. which can be drafted by teachers, experts, administrators and published for the consumption of their peer community and the larger school education ecosystem. 93. Print-rich environment A print-rich environment is one in which a variety of print materials around the classroom, including print created by students, are being displayed. Show your students how to use this print and encourage them to use it. Page number 60 Create daily routines or exciting activities that demonstrate the purpose of this print. In multilingual classrooms, it is important that you use both students' home languages along with the school language for this print. 94. Program for International Student Assessment PISA PISA is a competency-based assessment conducted by OECD or Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development and measures the extent to which students have acquired key competencies that are essential for full participation in modern societies. PISA is a triennial international survey which aims to evaluate education systems worldwide by testing the skills and knowledge of 15-year-old students who are nearing the end of their compulsory education. PISA assesses how well they can apply what they learn in school to real-life situations. Over 90 countries have participated in the assessment so far, which began in 2000. Every three years, students are tested in the key subjects, reading, mathematics and science. Website is available at https colon slash slash www dot oecd dot org slash pisa p i s a ninety five progress in international reading literacy study p i r l s p i r l s is recognized as the global standard for assessing trends in reading achievement at the fourth grade. It provides internationally comparative data on how well children read and offers policy-relevant information for improving learning 
and teaching. The study is administered at a key transition stage in children's reading development. The change from learning to read to reading to learn. Assessing reading achievement at this crucial stage provides educators and policy makers with key insights into the effectiveness of their education system and helps to identify areas for improvement. PIRLS assesses the two overarching purposes for reading that account for most of the reading done by young students both in and out of school. For literary experience and to acquire and use information. In addition, PIRLS assesses four broad-based comprehension processes within each of the two purposes for reading. Focus on and retrieve explicitly stated information. Make straightforward inferences. Interpret and integrate ideas and information and evaluate and critique content and textual elements. Website link is available at https colon slash slash www.iea.nl slash studies slash iea slash PIRLS 96. Project Based Learning Project Based Learning is a form of student centered teaching that engages students with course content as they work through a complex project. These projects are typically real world scenarios and multifaceted. Project-based learning encourages interdisciplinary conversations and groups work. Page number 61 97 Quick Response QR Code QR Codes are an enhanced version of barcodes which contain information in a machine-readable format. The code on a textbook, when scanned, takes the user to the landing page of the learning modules. 98. Reading Readiness Activities have been undertaken for preparing formal reading instruction or any other reading activity or task. 99. Sample or Random Assessment Sample or random assessments are the most common form of assessment. It could be conducted internationally, regionally, nationally and even sub-nationally. These assessments are administered to a randomly selected portion of the student population based on some criteria like grade, social groups, gender, etc. Sample or random assessments are cost-effective and take care of teaching or examination issues. Their main goal is to produce evidence-based information which will help decision-makers to identify learning gaps and allow them to take corrective actions. 100. School Innovation Ambassador School Innovation Ambassador Program, an initiative conceptualized by the Ministry of Education, Innovation Cell and All India Council for Technical Education, AICTE, to train the school teachers across the country who will nurture the young school students on design thinking and innovation. Ideation, Intellectual Property Rights, IPR, 
product development, problem solving and critical thinking. Link of website https colon slash slash sia dot mic dot gov dot in Role of the Innovation Ambassador To help in creating the culture of innovation in their respective schools. To mentor the teachers and students at their respective schools and nearby schools. To provide support to other schools as resource person. To spread the message of innovation and startups among the students and faculties. To act as an evaluator for idea competitions conducted at national level. To act as a mentor for the national level program on innovation and related activities. 101. School Innovation Policy Building on the momentum created by the National Education Policy 2020 to focus on innovation as a tool for revamping the educational system, the Ministry of Education's Innovation Cell has developed guidelines for schools to promote innovation and entrepreneurial skills among students. This is the National Innovation and Entrepreneurship Promotion Policy or NIEPP. The policy guides schools and education systems on various measures that they can adopt to promote a learning environment where the creativity, ideation, innovation, problem solving and entrepreneurship skills of students are nurtured, irrespective of their age. Page number 62 Salient Features 1. Integrate Teaching, Learning and Assessment 2. Child-Centered and Activity-Based Pedagogy 3. Focus on learning outcome-based competency development rather than content memorization. 4. Broadening the scope of assessment by way of including self-assessment, peer assessment besides teacher assessment. 5. Non-threatening stress-free and enhanced participation or interaction. 6. Focus on assessment of and as learning rather than evaluation of achievement. 7. Reposing faith on teacher and the system. 8. Enhancing self-confidence in children. 102. School Safety Guidelines The Department of School Education and Literacy has developed a comprehensive guideline on school safety and security for fixing accountability of the school management in the matter of safety of children studying in schools through wide and intensive consultative process with states and union territories, autonomous bodies and other ministries or departments. This guideline has been developed following an accountability framework with the help of existing legal provisions, a whole school approach by integrating safety and security aspects in education itself and addressing multi-sectoral concerns to further create a safe society, also giving recommendations for the other ministry and departments.
Guidelines are available at https colon slash slash dsel dot education dot gov dot in slash sites slash default slash files slash update slash guidelines underscore sss dot pdf 103. Shala Siddhi The National Programme on School Standards and Evaluation NPSSE known as Shala Siddhi has been developed as an instrument for self-evaluation of school performance that shall enable the school to evaluate its performance against the well-defined criteria in a focused and strategic manner available at https colon slash slash shala siddhi dot n i e p a dot a c dot in slash index dot h t m l 104 structured assessments for analyzing learning suffal a competency-based assessment framework for the key stages grades 3, 5 and 8 to assess the core concepts, application of knowledge and higher order thinking skills available at https colon slash slash cbse academic dot nic dot in slash web underscore material slash manuals slash suffle underscore handbook dot pdf 105 school-based assessment sba it is the process of integrating teaching or learning and assessment during the classroom interaction for facilitating learning. It is an assessment effort to ensure both continuity and comprehensive aspects of an individual's growth and development. Page number 63 SBA is defined as an assessment that is conducted at school level to facilitate attainment of competencies specified in terms of learning outcomes in a holistic manner during the teaching learning process. Assessment embedded in the teaching and learning process within the broader educational philosophy of assessment for learning and conducted for school students by school teachers in the schools. Modules under Nishtha on SBA is available at HTTPS colon slash slash itpd dot ncert dot gov dot in slash course slash view php id equal to 949 and section equal to 5 106 school development plan sdp as per Section 22 of RTE Act, each School Management Committee, SMC, is authorized to initiate the school-level planning in collaboration with the active community members, NGOs, civil society, individuals, etc. for preparation of a school-level plan including preschool level, which is termed as School Development Plan or SDP or School Improvement Plan, NEP 2020 also stated that schools will develop their plans or SDPs with the involvement of their SMCs and these plans will then become the basis for the creation of school complex cluster development plans, SCDPS. The plans will include human resources, learning resources, physical resources and infrastructure. Improvement Initiatives 
financial resources, school culture initiatives, teacher development plans and educational outcomes. 107. School Leadership Development Program, SLDP SLDP is targeted to build and enhance the capacity of school heads on a long-term and continuous basis. SLDP envisions a flexible program framework capable of addressing diversity in schools across the country through leadership development. 108. School Quality Assessment and Accreditation Framework SQAAF NEP 2020 has reinforced that the SCERT will develop a School Quality Assessment and Accreditation Framework SQAAF through consultations with all stakeholders. This will further help in enhancement of quality, recognition of excellence, promotion of accountability and benchmarking schools across a range of descriptors or indicators of assessment. CBSE has developed a framework, School Quality Assessment and Assurance, which helps in monitoring identified outcomes at all levels and across all spheres of school education. Available at http colon slash slash cbseacademic.nic.in slash sqaa slash handbook dot pdf 109 Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics, STEM STEM education is a curriculum that focuses heavily on science, technology, engineering and mathematics. STEM is an integrated, interdisciplinary and student-centered approach to learning that encourages critical thinking, creativity, collaboration and design thinking across multiple disciplines. Page number 64 110 State Level Achievement Survey SLAS SLAS is a sample survey to assess the health of the education being conducted by states at state level. 111 State Curricula Framework SCF State Curriculum Framework is a document that is developed or adapted or adopted on the basis of NCF and has enough scope for local contextualization. It sets standards for curriculum and provides the necessary inputs for development and designing of syllabus and textbooks for all grades. 112. State School Standards Authority, SSSA, NEP 2020 states, to ensure that all schools follow certain minimal professional and quality standards, states or UTs will set up an independent, statewide body called the State School Standards Authority, SSSA. The SSSA will establish a minimal set of standards based on basic parameters, namely safety, security, basic infrastructure, number of teachers across subjects, and grades, financial probity, and sound processes of governance, which shall be followed by all schools. The framework for these parameters will be created by the SCERT in consultation with various stakeholders, especially teachers and schools.
113. State Resource Groups or SRGs. SRGs are formed at the state level for the purpose of augmenting necessary suggestions, proposals, adopting appropriate measures and ensuring continuous monitoring and supervision of all activities relating to improvement of quality of education in the state. 114. Social Emotional Learning, SEL Social Emotional Learning, SEL, focuses on equipping students with emotional and interpersonal skills. SEL is defined by the Collaborative for Academic, Social and Emotional Learning as the development of knowledge, skills and attitudes to develop healthy identities, manage emotions and achieve personal and collective goals, feel and show empathy for others, establish and maintain supportive relationships and make responsible and caring decisions. 115. Sports Integrated Learning Integrating sport and play allows children and youth to better enjoy and engage with the learning process. NEP 2020 states, Sports Integration is another cross-curricular pedagogical approach that utilizes physical activities including indigenous sports in pedagogical practices to help in developing skills such as collaboration, self-initiative, self-direction, self-discipline, teamwork, responsibility, citizenship, etc. Page number 65 Sports integrated learning will be undertaken in classroom transactions to help students adopt fitness as a lifelong attitude and to achieve the related life skills along with the levels of fitness as envisaged in the Fit India movement. The need to integrate sports in education is well recognized as it serves to foster holistic development by promoting physical and psychological well-being while also enhancing cognitive abilities. Para 4.8 116 Summative Assessment Summative assessments are used to evaluate student learning and academic achievement at the conclusion of a defined instructional period, typically at the end of a project, unit, course, semester, program or school year. The purpose of summative assessment is to measure students' comprehension of the material presented at the end of a particular unit of work and is often measured with a grade or percentage depending on the subject. 117. Teaching Learning Material or TLM TLMs, also known as Instructional Aids, facilitate a teacher in achieving the learning objectives formulated by her or him prior to teaching learning activities start. The roles of the TLMs in the classroom are to make learning real, practical and fun for children. Teachers use TLMs to illustrate or reinforce a skill, fact or idea. Provisions of TLMs for students are available under Samagra Shiksha and Nipun Bharat. 118. Toy-Based Learning Toys can be used to promote experiential learning in interesting ways and are useful in the teaching of mathematics, languages, science, etc. 
toys help children to connect with their culture the use of traditional indian games and toys in schools will make children connect with their heritage and will have a lifelong positive impact 119 toy based pedagogy toy based pedagogy is a teaching learning approach in which concepts and skills are learned in joyful manner using toys games puppets etc this course focuses on enabling the learner to learn and practice the use of toys in teaching learning of his or her subjects nep 2020 has provided a definitive shift by focusing on play based learning for the foundational and preparatory years usage of puzzles and games for the teaching of mathematics rooting curriculum and pedagogy in the ethos of indian culture bringing out the unique potential of children etc nep 2020 is entirely based on activities and games and making of toys by children to develop their creativity critical thinking 21st century skills and competencies page number 66 120 trends in international mathematics and science study TIMSS TIMSS is an international assessment of student achievement in mathematics and science at 4th and 8th grades measuring trends in achievement since 1995 TIMSS data have enabled countries around the world to make evidence-based decisions to improve educational policies related to mathematics and science teaching and learning. The study collects detailed information about curriculum and curriculum implementation together with empirical information about the context for schooling. Website link is available at https colon slash slash www dot iea dot nl slash studies slash iea slash timss one hundred twenty one Vidya Pravesh a three month play based school preparation module for grade one children. has been developed and designed to be implemented during the initial 3 months or 12 weeks of grade 1 to make children grade 1 ready it contains the skills or concept wise activities illustrations and worksheets leading to the achievement of elos the module is designed as an exemplar and the states or union territories or schools are free to adapt or adopt available at https colon slash slash ncert dot nic dot in slash pdf slash vidya pravesh dot pdf 122 vidyanjali an initiative taken by the ministry of education government of india with the aim to strengthen schools through community and private sector involvement in schools across the country this initiative would connect schools with varied volunteers from the indian diaspora namely young professionals school alumni in service and retired teachers or government officials or professionals and many others link of website is at the rate https colon slash slash vidyanjali dot education dot gov dot in you were just listening to this audio chapter 3 
quality curriculum and assessment part 3 program coordinator dr rajesh kumar nimesh technical coordinator bati langlingdo sound recordist shanu mukseem narrator bavla kochar guidance vandana arimardan ajit horo production assistant ruchi sharma director and producer bimlesh choudhary this program is presented to you by CIET and CERT New Delhi India